Akira. <laughs> Morning Word Studio. I am your host, Joseph, as we do poetry in the morning. Um, I am currently setting up to track what I am doing. I am also currently making sure that the stream is working. We have zero people on, which is perfectly okay, but I want to check to see. It's not the wrong, right thing. Just checking to see that it's coming through. Working on poets. Perfect. We are good. So, this morning is Friday. On Tuesday, I think it might even said Monday. On Monday, I had spoken about how I had to write some poetry for a spoken word night. Tonight is that night. The poetry is not yet done. I wrote, you know, a little bit on Tuesday, was writing a poem for a friend of mine that got sent out on, um, and then today, yesterday was kind of going into some of the, the poetry um, about the, the woods. So today is definitely 
one of those days where I need to finish these poems. The ones that I am going to be speaking and reading. I had two poems set aside. Um, so interesting. I, I anticipated a metaphor here that I used in in my, my forestry poems. I'm just I'm just looking at this and I'm trying to figure out what I do with this, if this is really the project. I have been really I've just been really stuck on this. Like writing for something has always been I'm gonna say it's always been tough for me, and then people are gonna be like, What are you talking about? You take prompts all the time. Yeah, but I take prompts for topic, not prompts for open ended specific performance, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means that I haven't rested on yet how what I want to say. But at a certain point, and I think by midday today, I have to have decided what I want to say. some paper in here. I will be using eight and a half um, by 11. I, so what I'm doing now, and I probably should throw on some music while this is happening. What do we got playing in the background here? Ooh, there we go. That's a good one. Here we go. Instrumentals by Akira the Dawn in the background. As I continue editing. I don't have a proper editing camera. And I should probably get one. This would actually not be a bad time for me to try to set up my phone as a camera. I mean, not literally now, but generally, I bought one of these, which should help me with being able to set up a third camera, which is going to be a direct overhead for repair and uh, for repair and for. Uh, editing but that will take care of me in a while so what I'm doing is I started with I stopped watching the news the poem is good and it needs to be longer and I removed the end metaphor which included Kellyanne Conway um, there's something about how it didn't even happen and we walk around, really the theme that I want to go with is so, um, I don't, I stopped watching the news, um, and then, you know, about how this is what's happening in the news, and then probably a whole second stanza, nearly a whole second poem about how really there's a subtext in everything that we're doing, and that it's not that, I don't think concern would be the right word. Because, you know, I don't want to come out there being like, ah, our country's in chaos. But it's more like, wow, look at us all living together and yet all deep down sharing this kind of animus against each other. And just taking that and presenting it into the open. Um, this is actually going to be really powerful. 
But the thing is, is this can't be my only poem for the night. I need to have a second one. I have actually two slots. So I could make people move with this and then have a fun one, a more, a more fun one for another one. This one has a lot of snark in it, but this one's beginning to become a heavier poem. Like it needs to be an optimistic poem. Really is what I'm trying to say here. Optimism. This might be a longer stream than usual as I chip away at this. Opening lines are important. I recently had another conversation with a writer friend of mine who's um, helping guide me in some, in improving some of my writing. Believe it or not, I think I can be improved. And he's been a, put a very heavy emphasis on opening lines. My original opening line for this one is, I have a family and I have friends. I don't need more crises. But I don't think it sets the right tone. It set the right tone for a snark poem, which was good. And then I get sometimes this gut feeling that rises up in my soul and it says, Joe, you can't read this. But I think that if I if I turn the end of it, if I really build it up, like I really make it visceral inside people. Like, like there's some people are gonna be like, yeah, yeah, news sucks. And there's some people be like, oh, this guy's a jerk. And then if at the end I pull it around and I don't make it really about the news, Maybe then. Yeah, I think I might keep the opening line. Let's work it with the opening line. And then if it doesn't work with the opening line, I can change it later. All right? I only have like 10 hours. Ah! probably put a typewriter on here that has a tab function.
So one of these exercises that my writing writer friend suggested is to read straight a poem and see when you run out of breath. I have a family, I have friends. I don't need more crises, talking heads hovering in my dreams, reading tweets and taking beats to let those Medicare commercials run. Then reproducing as donkeys and elephants to debate the very ground we walk on. We are miles away from Walter Cronkite's stabilizing presence. I don't know if it works. I gotta figure it out. I don't think Giants Clash Above Us is what I want to say. Here's a lion. It might not too, it might be too much. Today everyone wants to be a revolutionary. Hit them where it hurts. Spending the black mirror in their pocket to focus the sunlight and burn you near mortals away. Eyeballs blinded by the light. Stumbling in the dark. As... Storm clouds thunder. Nature is present here. thought for some reason that was going to bring it all up, up a line. getting into uncharted territory this is where i don't have a lot of content and i'm inventing um so the previous poem did oh really only said a few things here previous poem this is the previous poem um 
After all, we wanted to sit at the cool kids' table. So what are some of the things that I've already done here? Um, I, I expanded upon, I'm starting to split it into stanzas. So this is a little more unconventional for me because I'm not a stanza poet. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have my, um, I should bring this closer to me. I have my one stanza street poems, but then sometimes they'll split into two, but only rarely. Good morning. Spencer of Grove. I'm writing what generally is a, it's not a political poem, but it's a poem about not watching the news. And that is my, my theme for this one. This one is going to be read at a cabaret in the middle of a bunch of show tunes. So I have to be careful. <laughs> and I, but I really want to hit on something big here. And it's starting to come together, but there's a lot that I need to pull out of it still. We're only, and we're already 20 minutes in. Um, so I'm going to read the first stanza out loud, just so it kind of helps prepare me for the second. Okay, scroll this down. I guess this is one thing I could do is I could scroll the typewriter as I read. Okay, so let's bring down our music. And down. Okay. I stopped watching the news. I have a family. And I have friends. I don't need more crises. Talking heads hovering in my dreams, reading tweets and taking beats to let those Medicare commercials run. Then reproducing as donkeys and elephants to debate the very ground we walk on. We are light years away from Walter Cronkite's stabilizing presence. Today, everyone wants to be a revolutionary. Hit them where it hurts. Bending the black mirrors in their pockets to focus the sunlight and burn we mere mortal ants away. Eyeballs blinded by the light, stumbling in the dark as tremendous storm clouds thunder above us. The only thing I gotta change here, black mirrors in their pockets, and now I gotta start redeeming the poem. But it's gonna be a third act. <laughs> it's gonna be three stanzas. Um, thirsty for what? Oh my goodness, the writer's block has been pretty rough this week. Thirsty is not a good word for it. So now what this paragraph is going to be about is it's going to be about a further delving into the problem. So there's a two parts to that problem. The problem A is we keep reading. We know that this is poison for us and yet we keep taking it. Then the other part of that problem is that it also creates in a not, I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it creates a superficial society because we're all kind of walking around we all have our political beliefs they're all underneath you know like even now spencer of growth twitch or alex you guys are you guys are basically my friends through the through the twitch verse i don't know what you really believe and that's the way it should be but isn't that a little scary so i want to bring my audience into that fear space to pull them out of it that's always the point though the point is to to create the drama and then pull them out of the drama. And I'm just having trouble with it with this one because this is a, I've, I've set myself up for a massive task and I'm trying to do it in a half an hour at morning at 7 a.m. I'm losing my mind. Thank you all for tuning in to my insanity. <laughs> um, but we keep watching, keep reading and scrolling. Thirsty is not the right word. I'm not ready to say what people are thirsty for yet. That's going to come later. We keep reading. We keep scrolling. Sharing and debating ourselves. Submitting the comments. Consume us. Play into 
I think past our bedtimes. Ha! We are children. And if any of you have any opinions on this poem, please drop them in the chat. You do not have to, but I'm really curious to see what you guys think of my... I don't want to... I don't know. Right now, this is still rough marble. I definitely, I, listen, I'm curious to see what the third act of this poem has to say. I'm getting pretty deep into it. Oh, goodness. But that's like my trade, I don't know if it's my trademark. I don't know if it, if it makes me a hack, but I really love the drama of poetry. And I'll do this in my smaller poems is I'll set up a problem and I'll solve it. Set up a problem and I'll solve it. Set up a problem and I'll solve it. It was like, it was like the Akira Rage Quit stream which, frankly, I thought was the most pedagogical of all of his streams because he set up a problem, I want to quit, and then he solved it by not quitting and, and cr created a lesson for everybody. Um, and by the Akira streams, I mean the meaning, meaning, the meaning wave evening streams, the meaning streams that happen at night that Akira the Dawn does, and that's his music that was playing in the background before. You guys all know. Um, it's for the replay. But... Yeah, I gotta keep writing. <laughs> but then what I also do is on the stream, I create a drama. So now we're, you know, you guys are, are tuning in. I, I, If you guys so choose, I really appreciate that you tune in. If you guys have something else to do, you're more than welcome to do it. But now you're all wondering what's going to happen to this poem. And so am I. Ah, the drama of life. Maybe that's, I don't think that's the theme. It's more togetherness is the theme. I have to go with togetherness. I don't know. Ugh. Togetherness within the drama of life. Spencer of growth, such synthesis is admirable. I think that is, I think that is wonderful. Because I'm trying to answer a very difficult question here. All in one poem. But all I know is that now I have to read this there. Like that's, at least I got that down, which is like, and this is, I have to get a second poem together, which I might not be able to do on stream, but it was like, I had to find something which made me so passionate that I could pour my heart into it and be like, I got to read this for people because like, I don't want to just bring poems and be like, oh, here's another nice poem about stars shining. No. And I think this is pretty good as we get, I think today is the first day. So in Virginia, today is the first day of, um, early voting. Uh, I sent in some mail to get myself an absentee ballot so I didn't have to walk down to mail to, to vote. So we are in the season at this point. The second stand is going to need some edits.
Oh, that's just so much sin right there. Um, the uh, I, I two of my two of my my words that I overuse are humans and hearts, and I just put them together into human hearts of each human heart. I might not keep that. Poem is trying to walk away, and I'm trying to re reel it back in. It's like when my, my dog on his morning, morning run wants to stop and sniff at every tree. It's like, no, 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 we got to keep focused. It wants to say everything. Ah, I think I forgot our music again. Hold on a second. What do we have playing? No, we don't want to play that. Nope. Nope. Ooh, that's such a great song. This song is one of the best songs. It's better with the words, but I like it without the words. next to them in coffee shops and cubicles, Zoom and email. Keep building our world. Wondering about the foundation, the trembling tectonics of each human heart. I could actually build that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. Or here. I'm gonna use this portion of the page to build that out. I'm going to declare this a new stanza. So this is a new stanza here. I don't even know if I like that, though. So this is getting... This poem is starting to misbehave. Um, and I got to... I got to close it out. And to close this out, I'm gonna need another paper. Paper! All right. And I think that's important. I think I need a fresh piece of paper to hit that final stanza because I don't wanna play with that. I might, I might ad-lib, not in the actual reading, but for our intensive purposes, I might ad-lib 
the ending of that stanza to see where it takes me. And by that, I mean I'm going to verbally say it without it having been written, and I'm going to see what comes out of my mouth. Have I done that before? Occasionally? Occasionally, I'll just do it naturally, like I'll be reading, and then I'll finish the sentence, and I'll go, oh, that was what the end of the sentence was supposed to be. So I'm going to read that second stanza now, and I'm going to write in the end of it. Oh. And actually, I'm going to do... The old drummer's trick was a uh, musician friend taught me when I was back when I was learning drums is that if you make a mistake in the piece of music, what you do is you start all the way from the beginning. And that's how you, and then you get to that point, And then if you make the mistake again, you still start from the beginning because then you're still relearning that beginning part. So I'm going to read this a second time. I stopped watching the news. Oh, we still have music playing. I have a family, and I have friends. I don't need more crises. Talking heads hovering in my dreams. Reading tweets and taking beats. Hold on a second. Reading tweets and taking beats to let those Medicare commercials run. Then reproducing as donkeys and elephants to debate the very ground we walk on. We are light years from Walter Cronkite's stabilizing presence. Today, everyone wants to be a revolutionary. Hit them where it hurts. Bending the black mirrors in their pockets to focus the sunlight and burn we mere mortal ants away. Eyeballs blinded by the light, stumbling in the dark as tremendous storm clouds thunder above us. But we keep watching, keep reading and scrolling, sharing and debating ourselves, letting the comments consume us late past our bedtimes. Then we wake up, walk past these hidden monsters in sidewalks and offices, settle next to them in coffee shops and cubicles, zoom and email and keep building our world, wondering about the foundation the trembling tectonics of each human heart, waiting for the big one to shake us to our core. So I went with shake us to our core which is not written down on here. And actually, I think I can kick the camera around. Let's see if I can kick the typewriter camera around. There we go. So we have here, this is the lines here. But then I wanted to write, so um, I believe it's Zoom and email. What you're seeing, this is, a, this is a lot of heavy work. This is not my usual, like, throw a poem down. Um, uh, Spencer of Grove has a different perspective in terms of the teaching. Uh, we're going, and potentially this is going through a piece of music um, uh, where he pushes through the mistakes and gets to the end. That also works too. Um, I think for this situation, I need to hear how the whole thing feels. And frankly, we're losing a little bit of steam here. We need to really make this one strike right here that one doesn't seem to strike but we keep watching keep reading and scrolling sharing and debating ourselves letting the comments consume us late past our bedtimes and then something needs to go here something then we wake up walk past these hidden monsters and sidewalks and offices and i don't want to use the word monsters um, and oh he so i the typewriter is getting a compliment to the keys um so what these the way these keys are designed qu uh, quick sidebar um is this is actually glass on top of paper in surrounded by a removable very tough to remove but removable chrome bracket and spencer of grove has used our typewriter emoji uh, which is incredible. 
that we now have the typewriter that we have the typewriter emoji still on our channel. I think it's so cool. So we need more here. We need to strike here. Um, then we wake up, walk past these hidden. I don't want to say predators, but I'm I'm aiming towards that. So I I have nature. Um, and Spencer of Grove says, um, uh, you mean I could put my own faces on those uh, as in terms of typewriter keys? Absolutely. There's actually a kid's typewriter that was designed in like the 30s where instead of the letters, it was, um, it was animals. It was a teaching typewriter. So it had just animals on it. Uh, I wish I could bring up a picture of it. Might actually be able to bring up a picture of it, but that's sorry, tangential. I gotta finish this poem, but I will try to bring up a picture of it if I remember at the end of the stream. Um, yes, so you can you can slip anything into here, these little discs. You could rearrange all the letters, you can do all sorts of weird stuff with it. In fact, companies would put, and I'm just gonna move this just a little bit. So like, oh, now I'm moving the whole thing. Hold on a second. So if you look at the shift key, when companies would do um, uh, repairs on typewriters, they would actually not put a second shift. What they do is under here, they would put their logo. I have a typewriter that's like that with a repair company's logo on it. So back to the poem, we have steam, uh, needs more steam here, and sidewalks and offices. So then we wake up, walk past these hidden animals, Kind of reflecting that dark side in sidewalks and offices settle next to them in coffee shops and cubicles and keep building the world stations sidewalks and stations i, I my alliterations are always a thing Okay, so I'm doing a bunch of edits here. You can't see, but here, let me bring this closer. Um, so then it's gonna go, then we wake up, walk past these hidden animals and sidewalks and stations, settle next to them in coffee shops and cubicles. We keep building our world, wanderings quiet silently about the foundation, the rumbling tectonics of our human hearts. Of our ah, so close. I'm thinking about the taking out this whole part about the big one. Um, as you can see here, we're going deep <laughs> in the creation process. I thank you all for bearing through with this. I know at a certain point we will be hitting eight o'clock. Nope, but we don't have eight o'clock yet. We still have time. Can't miss the, the, the meaning stream, the morning, morning, morning meaning show. Settle next to them in coffee shops and cubicles. We keep building our world, wondering silently about the foundations, the, the rumbling tectonics of each human heart. I think ending it on human heart, I mean, that's a trademark. I hope it doesn't sound too cliche, but I think that'll work. So I'm gonna retype that one actually. Typewriter, camera to the typewriter, please. Camera, typewriter, camera to the typewriter. Probably should get myself like a bonafide actual like camera arm or something like that. This is a little silly. Um. Okay. But we need music again. Ooh, that's a good one.
more Akira the Dawn to shepherd us through the editing process. And we're getting the big guns out. Ah! The camera is a snowstorm. It's a metaphor. Okay, here we go. So now on to the second, because the first stanza is pretty good. Oh no! <laughs> Atoms to stratums. Energy to Emery. I actually really like those rhymes. Uh, Sensor of Grove is telling, my, telling, talking about how he wrote himself into a hole with lines. Come to the re free verse side. It's like the dark side. The free verse side. We have cookies. We also don't need to rhyme. <laughs> um, I love. So he said, I wrote exactly. His comment was, I wrote myself into a hole yesterday. In my first stanza, I used atoms. Nothing exactly rhymes with atoms, so I rhymed it with stratums. Then in my second verse, I used energy, and you guessed it, nothing. So I rhymed it with emery. We have cookies, and we rhyme cookie. In, a, in, in free verse, we have cookies, and we rhyme them with humanity, which is actually a rhyme, so that doesn't count. <laughs> we have cookies, and we rhyme them with uh, milk. That's what we do. We rhyme cookies with milk in the free verse world. I'm getting too much camera shake. Hold on a second. I'm gonna fix that. Ah. The whole point of me getting one of these lamps was to have less shake because it seemed like it was gonna be a very steady affair. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Less counterweight. So much better. But still a little bad. Walk past. Please. No.
I took it a direction. Let's roll into the third stanza here because we got to do this. We have some chat happening. Cynical Chill says, me and my friends wrote short roast poems about each other, inspired by you. Oh, thank you. And I was curious if you'd like to see my poem roast. I don't exactly know poetry well, but I tried my best. Um, it may seem slightly rude in nature, but it was all in good fun. I think this would be fantastic. Of course, out of context, it's rude, but in context, it's a friend who asked you to make fun of his weak points. Um, I actually wrote a poem on this stream way back. You might have actually been there, Cynical Chill. I feel like you were. Where um, one, uh, was, I wrote a poem, it was a prompt. And the guy wanted me to reference um, something called Demotivational Mondays that he had with this girl that he liked, where they, um, what he would do is every Monday he would send her demotivational voicemails or voice memos. Like instead of saying, um, go get it, the world is yours, he'd say, well, like it was like, it was very crafty the way he described it. It was like, well, you might as well become homeless because then at least you don't have any expenses. So it was like, it was backhanded like encouragements. Um, but, and I integrated them into the poem and so it got a little roasty and I loved it. Um, if you send me to those cynical, send me those cynical chill, then tomorrow morning, hold on a second. Can I do the stream tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, I have to check something real quick because I am heading to a place very outside of town. An hour. Yeah, you can send me to those um, at the email, which I'm gonna drop in here since I still haven't fixed my splash screen at the end. Um, and we can, we can have a, we can, we can, I can read them over the stream. I haven't read enough poem over, poems over the stream and I need to make that more of a thing. Um, that might be a good way to bring people in here, Twitch or Alex, wink. Um, is, to, is to have it be a space where people you know, have their poems read aloud um, live, too. All right, if we go back to the original. Nope, the original. And Cynical Chill, I, I think that would be perfectly fine. Yeah, share it along, and then what we can do is we can, we can we can talk about a little bit just about how even you came up with that and the, and the, and the tongue in cheekness and all that. I would love to, to share and, and, and celebrate your poem on the stream. But your Alex says, not a bad idea in terms of having people read poems and using that to kind of spread the stream. We will see if that's something that can happen. So it is 7.58. Goodness. What will happen with my third stanza? I ran myself out of time. Um, oh goodness. I'm gonna quickly write something and then I'm gonna call it a quits on the stream and I might come back later on. So if you guys are all awake and hanging out, I might revisit this later on. But I promise that on tomorrow's stream, I will share the full poem. Because I'm gonna be working on these during the midday as well. The drama is a deception. I need to resolve the crises. I need a different song. Oh, one second. Thank you for tuning in to The Insane Writer this morning.
I'm figuring it out. I am stuck as hell. I got to I got to get out of it. But we keep watching, keep reading and scrolling, absorbing the headlines and party lines while sharing and debating ourselves. Stretching comment feeds far past our bedtimes. Then we wake up, walk past these hidden animals and sidewalks and stations, settle next to them in coffee shops and cubicles. We keep building our world while wondering deep down with no sound if we can feel the rumbling tectonics of each human heart. I have a family, and I have friends. And sometimes, instead of calling my mother, You really need to answer this. <laughs> now I'm just aimlessly scrolling through the songs. family and I have friends and sometimes instead of calling my mother I sit on Facebook I stare into a screen and find that I am searching what am I searching for am I searching for the answer the light at the end of the tunnel the peace of the world the 
bottom of the web page. I think I'm going to call it. I sense that I am not there yet, but I will get there. But I want to read what I... Let me, let me at least wrap this up with something. Ending that will be a placeholder that could expand into something else. Because you guys have been waiting so long. <laughs> I have been waiting so long. This final paragraph is not hitting it at all. It's not hitting it. Stillborn, as that Alfred Hitchcock would say, but that's not the end of it because you can always rewrite. It's too much. It's too heavy handed all the way down. Oh, actually, I think I hit it. It just came to me.
This got crazy. This got absolutely nuts. Uh, elements of this will be kept. I hit it. Holy heck, I might piss off a few people with this one. All right. But it's it's there. It's 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 all in there. It's crazy. Okay. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to turn off the stream because I want to make the morning work uh, the morning meeting stream and this is something. But I but at least I hit it. And I'd love to know what you guys think. So drop immediate reactions in the chat, chat if you feel so inclined. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. This was powerful. I got to write another poem. Crazy, crazy. I stopped watching the news. I have a family. I have friends. I don't need more crises. Don't need talking heads hovering in my dreams. Reading tweets and taking beats to let those Medicare commercials run. Then reproducing as donkeys and elephants to debate the very ground we walk on. We are light years from Walter Cronkite's stabilizing presence. Today, everyone wants to be a revolutionary. Hit them where it hurts. Bending the black mirrors from their pockets to focus the sunlight and burn we mere mortal ants away. Eyeballs blinded by the light, stumbling in the dark as tremendous storm clouds thunder above us. But we keep watching, keep reading and scrolling, absorbing the headlines and party lines while sharing and debating ourselves, stretching comment feeds far past our bedtimes. Then we wake up. Walk past these hidden animals in sidewalks and stations. Settle next to them in coffee shops and cubicles. We keep building our world while wondering deep down and with no sound if we can feel the rumbling tectonics of each human heart. I have a family and I have friends and sometimes instead of calling my mother, I sit on Facebook I stare into a screen and find that I am searching. What am I searching for? Am I searching for the answer? The light at the end of the tunnel? The peace of the world? The bottom of the web page? The fear reaches into me alone, gleaming with shadow, and I wonder what the world is doing. Wonder how we each share in this ritual the contemplation of disaster, the masking of our wickedness, the holding of our hands, hugs and hellos no matter the temperature. And the loneliness speaks. Alone together, it says, and I can't help but smile. The joke being played on the world, on ourselves, our true selves, laughing at the passion play of America. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate you spending your time here. This was pretty powerful to be able to work this poem out through the craziness of the stream. Um, Twitch here, Alex is, thank you so much for being here, Twitch here, Alex. I know you might already be gone. Um, I I think that my, my ultimate conclusion after reading the whole thing is that this last paragraph does work. It needs to be shifted, like things need to be shifted. But the theme is, theme is a we're all doing this <laughs> b it's you know the drama is a deception drama is a game by alan watsish you know i hope that pays off for people because there's a lot of people i take 
a lot of hearts into my hands with this poem. I'm not going to say I'm some big poet, I'm some big dramatic. No, I don't think I'm that all that. But I know that people are going to realize what I'm talking about, and they're going to start placing their hope in me to solve the problem. And I don't know if this really solves the problem yet, but it's hinting at it. It's, it's at least hitting the nail on the head, and the nail is going in, but it's not going in far enough. Anyway, that's poetry. Oh, I hope that's poetry. All right, thank you all so much. And um, I am going to end this stream, and then I'm going to pop onto the Akira the Dawn show. Well, I'm just going to be there watching. But thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to throw my email in here again in case anybody needs it, anybody wants to send me poetry to read, any questions, anything. Thank you all so much for another meaningful Morning Words Studio.